There is another tournament on this week. This is one of the big ones for the clay court season. The Barcelona Open. So massive names play this one every year. Uh, the, the biggest clay court players in the world, the greatest clay court player of all time, usually play this event. But unfortunately, a lot of injuries to players and a lot of players are pulled out. So let's go to the withdrawal list for this one. The withdrawal list here, uh, Batista Agu, he's out. Grigsport also out. Her catch is pulled out. Didn't know he was pulling out of that one. Uh, Nadal, we all know Raf is out for a couple more weeks. Shapovalov's also pulled out, which is an interesting one. Sinner's pulled out, and we all know that Sinner's been injured the last couple of weeks, so no surprise he's pulled out. Struff and Van der Zandschup have also pulled out of this event, so big names missing from Barcelona. Well, some big names are playing, so let's go to the top of the draw. Now, this tournament has 16 seeds, and every single seed gets a buy in the first round, which is kind of weird. Uh, Sidney Pass, he's the number one seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He will play either Avashka or Martinez in the second round. Then we've got Giron versus Correa. Winner of that plays the number 14 seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Then we've got the number nine seed, Basilashvili. He'll play either Munir or Rindenik, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Quan versus Pear. Winner of that match takes on Elkarez, the number five seed, in the second round. So, I mean, straight away. You can see Dimitrov versus Tsitsipas. Dimi played well this week. Steph's in the final of Monte Carlo. Uh, Alcaraz versus Tsitsipas quarterfinals. That's what I want to see. That's the match I want to see. All right, second part of the draw, we've got Nori, the number four seed. Play either Manorino or Ramos Vinoles in the second round. He gets a buy in the first round, of course. Fuchovic versus Thompson. Winner of that takes on the number 15 seed, Del Bonis, in the second round. Then we've got Diminor, the number 10 seed. He'll take on either Anduha or Umber in the second round. Then we've got Harris versus Bayana. Winner of that plays Batista Agu, the number seven seed, which I thought he was, I thought he was out of the tournament. I don't know what's up with that. So Batista Agu, if you're watching this in the replay, he might still be in the tournament. There was maybe a glitch or maybe, uh, maybe he's out of the tournament. They haven't updated yet. But look, this part of the draw, pretty wide open. And, you know, I think I think that the top section or the top uh, top quarter of the draw, very stacked. This part of the draw, very wide open. Nori, maybe he could do something on clay. Diminor, uh, you know, RBA, if he's some is playing. Uh, Del Bonis, I mean, it could be an unseater player. So I feel like this section of the draw is up for grabs uh, for anybody. Going to the bottom half of the draw now, the third quarter, we've got Schwartzman, number six seed. He'll play either a qualifier or McDonald in the second round. Then we've got Musetti versus Baez. Winner of that will play Dan Evans, the number 12 seed in the second round. Then we've got Tiafo, the 13th seed, taking on either Qualifier or Fakina, who's unseated. It's a bit the last time he's unseated, I'm sure, but he's unseated. That's very interesting to see. Uh, we'll see if he can make another uh, another final, maybe. Uh, anyways, he'll play TFO if he can beat a qualifier. Then we've got another qualifier versus Quarter. Winner of that plays FAA, the number three seed. This part of the draw has got very dangerous unseated players. Makina, obviously. Quarter is also dangerous. Baez, Musetti, all very dangerous unseated players. FAA is not in great form. Schwartzman is probably the best informed seed in this quarter. But this part of the draw, I am i don't expect any... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if anybody gets through. I mean, this is based on form. You'd probably say Fakina, but he's not even seated, which is kind of crazy. That's insane that he's not seated. And the bottom section of the draw, we've got number eight seed, Carino Busta. He'll play either a qualifier or Robredo, who I thought was like 45. How's he still playing? He gets a wild card, so good on Robredo. Uh, then you got Cressy versus Qualifier. Winner of that match plays number 11 seed, Sinego. Then you got the 16th seed, Bublik. Winner of that match, oh, sorry, uh, he's waiting the winner of Lopez, who's also a fellow pensioner like Robredo. He's playing a young gun in Rusevori, so that'll be a fun match to watch. Uh, winner of that match will play Bublik. Then you got a qualifier versus Nakashima. Winner of that match will take on the number two seed, Kasper Rude. And I think down the bottom half of the draw, it's it's Rude's tournament, right? Bublik, we don't know what to expect from him. He could quit matches halfway through. Uh, Sinego's in bad form. Crino Busta is, is dangerous at times, but I don't know if he's going to be a threat to Rude. Uh, the bottom half of the draw is Rude's to lose, I feel. Yeah, I mean, this tournament, without Rafa and without a lot of those big names, for me, it's it's kind of wide open. I mean, you've got you've got Rude down the bottom. He's probably got the best draw. The top half of the draw is pretty... Uh, the top section is stacked with Elkarez and, and Tsitsipas and Dimitrov, who are all uh, good clay court players, and we've seen that this week. Um, and then you've got Fakina and Quarter who are unseated. Maybe they can do something. I mean, Fakina we know could do something. So let me know in the chat. Let me know in the description below or in the comments below. Who's going to win in Barcelona? I have... I mean, is Steph going to be too tired after this week? Uh, that could be a thing. 